Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do the part two of inverse function. So let, let us see first, how are you going to verify inverse functions algebraically? So here it's given each of the functions is the inverse function of f of x is phi by x minus two and g, uh, g of x is x minus two by five or h of x is five by x, x plus so now let us start from here first. If we take f of g of x. So now whenever you have f of g of x, so, so you look at this part. So what are you going to write here? g of x means you know that g of x, the value is given as x minus 2 by 5. So in place of this one, you are going to write x minus 2 by 5. So now what will you do? So you know this part. So now you are going to plug in, you go in this f of x. So you, what you have, you have 5. So you are going to write 5. In place of this x, now you are going to write because that is g of x value. Because that is g of x, this is x. So now you are going to plug in this value in place of this x. You are going to put this way. And this minus 2, this is as it is. So this uh, step is very important. So now after that, what are you going to do? You are going to expand it. So now this will be the numerator as it is. Now you can see the denominator here is 5. Here we don't have any denominator. The denominator is going to be 5. So what are you going to do? Here, here, here is 1. So you are going to multiply by 5. So now what will be that? x minus 2 minus 10. So this is x minus 2 minus 10 by this is because the denominator is 5. So now this is the numerator. This is the denominator. So this is going to get flip over. So now all we can do one step. Because here we have minus 2 minus 10 or you can also do directly flip over and then later on you can add it. So now uh, this is 5 as it is. This will be x minus 12. So x minus 12 and then 5. And then now you can do the numerator same. This will get flip over. So what will this 5 will go in the numerator. 5 and the this will be in the denominator. So 5 is a 25 divided by x minus 12. This is actually not equal to x. So now what will you see? Now we are going to see of, we saw f of gx. Now we will see f of hx. So now hx, the value is given 5 by x plus 2. So now in place of this x, uh, in, in this one, you are going to write here 5 by x plus 2 f of this one. So now what will you do again here? This 5. So now you will go in the main function that is f of x. So in place of this x, you are going to put this value. In place of this x, you are going to put this value. This is x value. So this is x and this minus 2. Yeah. Hope this is the step is clear to you. So now this 5 as it is, now this plus 2 minus 2 gets cut. So what remains is 5 by x. So now again, this you can flip over. So that is going to be x will go in the numerator and 5 will go in the denominator. So this 5 and 5 gets that. So here what you can see that you get x. But here we don't get x. So now we can say therefore h is the inverse function of x. Hope this is clear. So now in the next one, find the inverse function of f of x is x minus 6. Then verify that both f of f inverse x and f inverse x of fx are equal to the identity function. So now let us start with this function. So if you take f inverse x means what is that going to be? This minus will become, this will become plus. So now we want, first thing we want to see for this one, f of f inverse x. So now we know f of f, f inverse x, we got this one as, this is f inverse x, we, this, we got as x plus 6. So in place of this, you are going to write x plus 6. So now you will go in the main function, that is f of x is x minus 6. So in place of this x, you are going to write here x plus 6 because this is x and this minus 6 as it is. So this step is important. So now when you cancel this and this, what you get? x. Now we will go for the next one that is f inverse of fx. So f inverse you will write as it is and fx, you know the value of fx. What is that? That is x minus 6. So you will write over here x minus 6. So now what will you, have, uh, what will you do here? Now you will go in the main function in place of this, uh, in this one, uh, f inverse, because this is f inverse. So you will go in this part. 
So in place of this x, you are going to write here now x minus 6 because this is x. So you are going to write the x minus 6. Hope you got this. Why we are going with this? And because this is inverse. So this also you are going to go for the inverse part. So here you can also put here f inverse. Okay. So now, so now that is um, x minus 6 and this is plus 6 as it is. So now x minus 6 plus 6. So this 6. Uh, this uh, minus 6 plus 6 gets cancelled and you get x. So what did they say? Verify that both these are equal. So we can see these both are equal. So now find inverse function of fx is 4x. Then verify that both again your f of f inverse x and f inverse of fx are equal to the identity function. So we'll start with this one. If you write your f inverse x that will be this will be x by 4. So because here, see here, here there was subtraction, this became addition. So here was actually when we write 4x means this is multiplication. So this will become division. So multiplication becomes division. So you will write here x by 4. So this, remember this step. So now you can verify how we are, are you going to verify this one? That we want f, in, uh, f of f inverse x. So f of uh, f inverse x is f of you got this one. What is that? F inverse x you got as x by 4. This you got as x by 4. So now we will go in the main function that is fx 6 4 by x. So in place of this x, we are going to put x by 4. So you will write here 4 as it is. And in place of this x, you are going to write this because this is x. So this is going to be x by 4. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is going to be x. Now you will see for f inverse of f of x. So f inverse of f of x, that is going to be f inverse. And this f of x is what? That is 4x. So now uh, this is going to be what? Again, f inverse of f, f of x. So you will go in this. So what are you going to write here? In place of this one, this 4 is going to be as it is. And this is going to be what? x by 4. So this is x by 4. In place of x, you are going to write x by 4. You are going to look at this step. So 4 and 4 gets cancelled, you get x. So now you can say that both, because both are x, so you can say the both uh, this part are equal. So the next one, verifying inverse function, function that is graphically. We have seen the previous part that was, you have to see algebraically. Here we are going to look at graphically how we are going to do it. So we have to verify graphically that the functions fx is equal to 2x minus 3 and gx, g of x is half of x plus 3 are inverse functions of each other. So what we can do here, first we'll take the graph of f of x that is 2x minus 3. And this what we are going to take graph of g of x is half x plus 3. So now what will you do here, we will take uh, because we are going to do it uh, graphically, we will take the sum points minus 1, 0, 1, 2. You know the graph when we take, we take uh, 5 points or 3 points also are okay. So uh, here when we take minus 1, you just plug it in this value because this is the A value means that will be the first X and this will be B. So when you put here in this 2 here, see here, when you put here minus 1, minus 3, so what do you get here? Minus 2, minus 3. So what do you get as B? We can also say that this is minus 5. So you get this minus 5. So you can also say AB or you can say XY also. So what is this going to be? Because this is AB and this is going to be the inverse of it, right? So this is going to be BA. So now since you got this part, so we are going to reverse it. So AB is minus 1 and minus 5. So BA is going to be minus 5 and minus 1 because here this B and this is A. Of this is clear because this is the inverse of it. So now you will, when you put 0 in this equation, if, when you put 0, you get the b as minus 3. When you put 1 in this equation, just check it, 2 into 1 minus 3, so you get minus 1. Again, when you put 2 in this equation, 2 to the 4 minus 3, that is going to be 1. You put 3 in this equation, 3 to the 6 minus 3, so that is going to be 3. So these are all the inverses. Now see, we got this well, uh, this pairs. So these are all the inverses minus by 1. This is 0 and minus 3. So this is minus 3, 0. 1 and minus 1, so minus 1, 1. 2 and 1 means this is going to be 1 and 2. 
3 and 3 means this is going to of course 3 and 3. So hope you got this one, how they are the inverses. So now we are going to graph it on the basis of this one. These points are already given, so it's easy to graph. So uh, you can see uh, the points, whatever after graphing here, whatever you got this line, that is for f of x is equal to 2x minus 3, taking these points. And this yellow line, whatever you can see this one, this is for g of x is equal to 1 by 2, that is after getting, you are going to plot this and you get this line. And the mid of it, this will be y is equal to x. So we can say the graphs of f and g are reflections of each other. Can you see reflections of each other? Because one man, when you take, this is going to be minus 1, 5 and mi minus 1. So they are called the reflections of each other in the line, which is that line that is y is equal to x. So f and g are inverse functions of each other. So in the next video, we are going to see the uh, some different topics. So the inverse is done over here. So please do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.